everyone, this is the Atari 8 Big Game Hunter. This is my Thursday video. And it's my weekly pickup video. Of all the things I found on eBay and the flea markets and everything. Uh, like I said last week, that really big, big lot I got of video games. That was going to be something that was going to probably change for me in the next couple of weeks as I downsize as much as I'm going to spend. And like I said, focus also on working on the game room. That's what I'm doing now. I did pick up a few items, not much this week, compared, especially compared to last week. Last week, everybody just put ape, ape crap all over my um, want list, and they just dumped game after game and system after system on me. Which I don't mind. Every now and then, it's good to just get a crap load of games and be like, hey, I got tons of games now to play. Um, let's just move right into what I got this week. I'm going to start off with my... Atari 2600 game collection. The first title I have is Frogs and Flies by Mattel. And then I have a couple of Activision games. This one is Tennis. In very nice shape. And also Stampede. Also in pretty decent shape. Um, a little bit more label wear on that one, but I'm not going to complain about that. For the Atari 8-bit collection, actually this one is a different version of, um, the, well it's the later version of what I did for my Tuesday Game of the Week for the Atari Basic. This is the 1985 version of the, uh, the cartridge, which is version C. This is the, the final version that they came out for. And will also later be found on the XD uh, line of computers. Next, for $3, there we go, head to head talking baseball. I believe this is also by Tiger, it is. Comes with, let's see, let me show you, the back cover. Now I'll get you a close up view of this. Uh, The battle controls, screenplay, and pitching controls. Basically one guy's gonna sit here like like this, and the other one on the table will sit like this, and that's how you play across the table from each other. Tested, works great, not gonna complain for three dollars. Also, this is off the dollar table at one of the people I used to buy Hot Wheels from all the time. For the 5200, pole position. It's a little dirty. I'm not going to complain for a dollar. Maybe buy Atari 5200 games for a dollar. I'm not going to complain. And now something for the game room. Ten shelf. Ten shelf, ten item shelf. Nothing all that fancy. I'm just gonna put um, my Tiger handheld games, the little ones. They fit beautifully on the shelves. I'll just do something like that. I'll put the big ones across the top, and temporarily that's where they'll go. I may try to reinvent that into something else down the road. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. <coughs> I thought I could use it for the 8-bit uh, games actually with those cases, but I can only hold 110 of them in there, in that case, and that's not going to be enough for what I have, so scrap that idea, we'll go to plan B, plan B is going to be my target handheld, we'll do that for now and we'll just take it from there as time goes on. Um, trying to think of anything else this week, I don't believe I got anything else. Uh, it was just, like I said, it was a slower week. I'm trying to cut back a little bit, practice on p practicing taking my funds and putting it towards saving for actual saving purposes, and also for the gamer. Um, we'll be allotting a little bit of money towards the video game hunting to see where that takes me and how that goes. We'll take it from there, I guess, I suppose. So yeah, that's about it this week. 
I'm still coughing. It's Thursday morning, August 1st. I'm still coughing. Got a couple of video games, and that's about it for tonight. Feel free to check me up on my Facebook page, Atari 8-Bit Museum. Check me out on rfgeneration.com under A8 Scooter. Give all my whole blog line. My early blog, but it was all text and not videos. You can follow me on this website right here for YouTube. You can follow my channel, the Atari 8-Bit Game Hunter. Feel free to subscribe, leave comments. I try to read them when I get a chance. The more feedback I get, the more I'll be able to reply, answer any questions you may have. Alright, um, that's about it this week. Uh, just I need to remember this week at some point to do that video about my um, the prototype I got. I just keep putting it off, I keep forgetting. Nobody reminds me. I don't have a bad, I have a bad memory. So, yep, uh, that's about it for this week. I'll see you guys Tuesday for the game of, gave me moment back in time. Hopefully Saturday or Sunday or Monday night when I get home from work. Post up the, um, the prototype video. Okay, have a good night. Be safe out there. Hope you're helping, um, yields good finds. Don't be afraid to share, comment, like suggest it to other people who may enjoy it, and have a good rest of the week.